Good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And super excited to be on this video with you guys this morning. I have been up early, man, to all my parents out there to have children. I just don't understand this. How the children want to sleep in during the school week when it's time to get up, get ready, and get out the door. But then when the weekend comes around and they have the chance to actually sleep in and just relax, you know, things like that, they are up super early. I just don't get it. And then they wake me up, which means I don't get a chance to sleep in on the weekend. But nonetheless, you know, I'm up, ready to rock and roll today, man. Super excited. Got an event to go to, to speak to some people um, about just having this financial makeover in 2021. So I'm really excited to make some new connections today with my business partner, Mr. Toby Price. But I wanted to come on here and start your morning off right and talk to you guys and bring some value to help open up your mindset about your business, okay? Because I get a lot of people that hit me in my inbox and they are struggling with their opportunities and they're wondering why, you know, people are not gravitating to them or people are not signing up in their business, different things like that. And, and one of the questions that I ask, which is right here in the title, is, you know, with your opportunity, guys, are you truly excited about your opportunity, right? Or are you just trying to make money? Are you truly like this really excited about your opportunity or are you just trying to make money? Now, why I ask that question is this is because I understand that when you start a home based business, uh, you get into network marketing, the, the, the end result is making more money, right? That's face the facts. That's why we get into business and do these things. But <clears throat> you have to understand the full picture of it so that way you can actually be successful. You know, I've been in this industry for six years going from company to company, and I had to learn things the hard way when I was in here. You know, when I first got started in the industry, I was taught to, you know, that I had to position myself online, right? I had to position myself to make it look like that I was doing something that I was not, that I was more successful in my opportunity when I wasn't, when I really wasn't making that type of money. So they had me flashing, you know, taking pictures, holding money, doing these different things to attract people, to pique their interest, to get them to look into the opportunity. And I followed it because I was new in the industry. I didn't know what to do. These are people that I thought that were like leaders and gurus and they come and teach me to do these things. So I started doing it. And for, you know, for the first couple to a few years, you know, I was doing that. But what I started to realize during this time, guys, that I was attracting the wrong people with the wrong mindset. You know what I'm saying? I was attracting the wrong people with the wrong mindset. So when they started coming to me, <clears throat> all they were looking at was the money that I was making. They wanted to make that kind of money, but they were asking the right questions. They were like, how fast can I make this money? Is it real? You know, different things like that. So when they came in, they already had the wrong mindset. They were setting themselves up for failure because all they was worried about was how much money they could make. But I can't tell you how much money you can make in an opportunity. Nobody can because it's all on you. This is a results-based industry, which means the work that you put in is the results that you're going to get back from it, the type of money that you're going to be able to make. So I can't tell you how much money that you're going to make. But people were so fixated on that type of money that they didn't realize that. <clears throat> and so I was all about signing people up and getting them in, getting them in. But what I was doing was I wasn't qualifying those people. So when they were coming to the business, they were already looking for an exit strategy. They were already reluctant to get into my business. And then when they got in, they were looking for every little thing to go wrong so that they could jump ship or they could quit. So I found myself for years bringing in these people and then they will come in and they will put in no work. And then they will leave from the opportunity and they will say, I didn't make no money, but they didn't put in no work. They didn't plug in. They didn't do all of those things. So for me, I had to realize, like, I was like, man, is it me? At first, <clears throat> at first, I will blame the opportunity. So I will go from one opportunity to the next. I took the same old habits from one company to the next. And in every company that you join, guys, there's a hype period. So when you start something new, something fresh, you're going to always be excited in the beginning you seen the value, you were fired up, you feel like this is going to be the one. I mean, I've told people so many times in companies, oh, I'm planting my flag, this one is it, I'm ready to rock and roll, I will get in, and I will get the same results. <clears throat> I will get the same results. 
And it was just, I, I could not figure it out. I could not figure it out. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Because every time I left from a company, I always had the excuse of, you know, maybe it was the product or the service. People didn't want that. Um, I always looked at the pricing. I'm like, well, people can't afford to pay, uh, you know, a hundred dollars a month to maintain a business. I, I had all of these, the, the wrong things. So it's hard to learn, right? It's hard to learn <clears throat> from things. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's hard to learn from things when you don't hold yourself accountable, when you don't look at the things that you are doing right as much as you are looking at the things that you are doing wrong in your business. So how can you fix things and make changes if you are if you don't really know what you're doing wrong? And that's what I had to figure out. I felt I had some great successes. I made some money, but it wasn't the long term money that I was looking for. See, I, I realized that as long as I was focused on just making money, just getting signups is where my struggle began. So when I was just focused on how many signups I could get, that was it. But then after a while, I was like, man, I, I had to sit down. I looked at all the companies that I was in and I had to reanalyze the things that I was doing. Like what, what were some similar trends that I was doing in all of these companies that led me to getting the same type of results, having a fast start and then having this, this stagnant period where things were just like not going the way that I wanted to. People were falling out of my business. You know, I was always having to rebuild um, just to maintain my income. And it just made things very frustrating. So I had to really look at those things, right? So what was crazy about it was I had to start thinking about it. I was like, am I really excited about these opportunities or am I just trying to make money? And I heard somebody say, you know, in order for you to get what you want, you have to help people get what they want. Right. And at first I heard that I understood it, but I didn't apply that to what I was doing. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? Let me switch up. Let me switch up. Let me try it this way. Let me let me switch up the message. Let me get people mindset off of, you know, the type of money they can make. And let's talk about how this could truly impact their life. You know what I'm saying? Just by understanding what this industry stands for, you know, how you can definitely come in here and build leverage income. Let me let me educate people on how they can really make some changes, right? So I had to come in here. I had to learn the hard way, man. I went through I went through many phases over my six year tenure in this industry um, of doing things the wrong way to get to this point to where I had a confidence to now educate people to where I'm not worried about the results. I'm not worried about how many signups I'm getting. I'm not worried about those things, but I'm worried about I, what I'm focused on is getting the message out to the people on what's possible. Because if we look at our economy today, we got millions of people without jobs, companies closing, the economy is crashing, and people are looking for ways to generate another income. But we can't just talk about money. We got to help them understand the big picture and where they can actually take this thing to make them realize, hey, is this something that I can do? They can start asking those questions in their mind. Is this something that I can do or am I just going to stay focused here, right? And what I want you guys to understand in 2020, if you did not notice this, let me bring it to your attention, right? Let me bring it to your attention. With everything going, with all the chaos going on around us, right? All the chaos, people losing jobs, on the brink of losing homes and lifestyles, companies closing, the economy crashing. The one thing that never closed down, right? The one thing that never closed down was the internet. The internet never closed down. So you never had, you never heard a special report or got on social media and seen the big news that network marketing has shut down during this pandemic. Why? What is this? There's some things. Well, with network marketing, you can work from the comfort and the safety of your own home. And in an economy where we're social distancing, right? That's ideal right now. That's ideal to be able to work in the comfort of your own home and generate an income. And, and this is what really woke me up on how powerful this industry really is. If you just open up your eyes and take advantage, right? I work a full-time job. I work a full-time job and I make pretty decent money. But when I sat here 
and I was able to generate a full-time income on a part-time basis. Let me say that one more time. A full-time income on a part-time basis, which means at my job, I worked more hours to make less money, but in my business, I work less hours to make more money. I mean, what what side would you want to be on? Right. What side would you want to be on? Would you want to be working more hours to make less money or working less hours to make more money? And when I started seeing people doing this, I was like, man, I got to get in here. I got to figure this thing out because I'm doing something wrong. I'm over here working more hours, making less money and struggling financially. But then I see people over here working less hours, making more money than me. They got more time with their family, more freedom. They're able to live life on their own terms. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? And that's what I had to figure out. And once I started getting around more people, I started learning. I really started getting back and educating myself on this industry, what it stands for, and how to really break this down to the people. That's when things started to change for me. Because now I was attracting people who wanted to get where I was at. I started attracting people that wanted more in life and they knew that they had they couldn't get it from their job because they limited. They know they can't depend on the government. We see what they do for the people. They know that they, they didn't have no other choice. And I want you guys to understand how like how impactful this industry can be for you. Because this may not network marketing may not be a lifetime thing for you, right? It may not be a lifetime thing for you, but I know so many people that came in here, learn this industry and how to build in this industry, right? By helping others and was able to build up an income that they leveraged to open up other doors financially, making bigger investments, taking that money that they made and leveraging it to do other things. Right now, when it comes to starting a business, guys, you have traditional business and you have online business. When you have a traditional business, guys, it's all the same thing. The only difference on the traditional business side, guys, is that you need more money. You need a location. You got to hire people. You got to have a product or service, right? Production. You got a lot of overhead that you got to deal with. And the headaches and the legalities that come with starting a traditional business. But when you get into network marketing, guys, you have companies out here that already have a brand, that already have a product or service that you get a chance to invest into for a fraction of the cost. You don't have to go through all the legalities and all of that. And all you have to do is go out here and tell people about it, market it, show people, right? And that's what I started learning. And, and, and guys, I want you to understand this. This is what we do on a daily basis for free. Do you not understand that network marketing was created from referral programs? Let me break that down for you. We all love referral programs. We love being able to be incentivized to go out here and tell other people about products and services that we've purchased restaurants that we've eaten at, movies that we've gone and seen, right? If you ever got on there and you went and seen a movie and you posted on your page and said, oh my God, this movie was amazing. And people were wondering if that movie was amazing, but they came across your post that, that clarified, right? And, 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 and really co-signed that that movie was really good. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to go see that movie because of you, because of what you shared with them. But when they went and seen that movie, they bought their tickets. Did you get paid for it? You didn't get paid for it. When you go out and you buy a new car and you're so excited about the new car that you purchased, when you take a picture with your new vehicle and you're so excited, people see the smiles, they can, they can feel your energy through the picture and you're sitting there in front of your vehicle, guess what happens? When people see it, they're going to want to know. Where did you get your car from? They're going to want to know how the process was. You're going to break it down to them. Okay. You're going to break it down to them. And then what's going to happen is those people are going to say, man, I need a vehicle. Let me go. Right. Let me go and get a vehicle from this place because they, they, they got a chance to see your experience. And now they want to go experience that. See, referral program has been around for a long time. Because that same dealership that you bought that car from, guess what? Before you leave, the salesperson is going to tell you, hey, if you know anybody that needs to buy a vehicle, guess what? Hey, send them my way. 
tell them to mention your name. And if they buy a vehicle, we're going to pay you a hundred bucks, right? So in your mind, that sounds great. That sounds great. But look at the money that you're making those guys that's selling the car. When you got when you got a guy selling a car for twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, thirty thousand dollars, and you only got chopped out a hundred dollars, but that person that went and purchased the car that you sent in probably would have never went to that dealership if they never would have talked to you. Think about that. <clears throat> you did all the hard work. You did all the preliminary work. You showed a picture. You broke down where you bought your car from, how much it was, right? You told them the process that you had to go through. You were priming them up. So when they went in there, they were already mentally prepared. They were excited. And you referred them to, them to the person that sold you the car. But you only got 100 bucks Out of a $20,000, $25,000, $30,000 car, you got 100 bucks. Okay? So I want you guys to understand that. You guys be excited to go and do that. Marketing happens all the time, whether you know it or not. Right now, look. Right at my desk. I got an empty can of bang, okay? Energy drink. And I have rough mornings where I don't sleep at night. I'll get one of these, give me a nice little boost. I'm good to go. So if I'm sitting here, right? I'm sitting here and I'm talking to y'all and I pick up this, I pick up this bang and I start drinking it, right? And I say, oh man, it's so good. I love, I love, I love these, man. They give me a nice boost, right? Now, in your mind, you may not think that you are marketing these bangs. In your mind, you may not think that you're doing it. But somebody to come across your video may be having a rough day, tired, whatever the case. And you just showed that you were drinking this energy drink. You told them that it make you feel good, give you a nice boost. You didn't get a chance to sleep well. And somebody may be like, man, you know what? I need one of those. So next time they go, they unconsciously go buy a bang, right? Because you showed this on your video or you took a picture with this can. Did Bang send you a check? Did you get any type of incentive for doing what you did, right? So in network marketing, they started to see that. They started to see the, these, these leaders, these company CEOs, they started to see a trend. It was like, wait a minute. If people that are customers, right, of a company that buy a product or a service are excited about going out and telling other people for an incentive, whether it's a gift card, or maybe it's some cash, or maybe you get a percentage off your next purchase, and they're excited about doing that, and they, they're okay with going out there and telling people, why not build a, a, build a system around that to where people can do the exact same thing, but now we can pay them more money. Why? Because they don't have to hire people. They don't have to hire people. They don't have to have a business. People can work from home. And now they can they can cut down costs at allowing people, more people to invest in their business. Guys, it's like franchising without all the headaches. So you invest into the business and you do exactly what you've been doing for these referral programs all of these years. You you get into the you get you a company that has a product or service that you can stand behind that you're excited about. And once you get on board with it, guys, you use that product or service, you see how it works, you go out and you share it with people, right? Because the people what, what I learned is the people who solve the most problems make the most money in this industry. So when you get a product or service, you're not just trying to sell the product or service, but what problems do you see in the economy that your product or service can help fix? What do you see? And that's exactly that's exactly where your mind should be. Those are the people that you want to get in front of and you want to share your message. See, here's the thing, guys. If you are struggling in your business... You're not getting the engagement that you want, the response that you want, the signups or the money that you want to make. It's because you're not bringing enough excitement and value that make people want to look into what you're offering. Because if you're just solely focused on signups and sales and, oh, do you want to turn 50 into $1,500 this week? You know, the, you know, the little messages, oh, we got a pre-launch, get on in here and let's make money. And people don't understand the value of your product or service. Now, you're going to have a bunch of people that's just going to end up falling off. They're going to end up falling off and, and you're going to have to continue to rebuild all the time. You're going to have to rebuild all the time. So 
Take advantage. Look into your business. Study your business. Understand what your business offer, what it stands behind, and what's the real messaging. What is the real message that is going to, to pierce people's ears, that's, that's going to touch their soul to help them wake up and say, man, you know what? I need that. I need to look into that. That's exactly what it is. And when you start learning that, guys, when you start learning to look at what's going on in our economy, the problems that are out there, that's going to help you to evaluate the type of companies that you decide to invest into. When I invested into my company, uh, when I decided to partner with this company almost two years ago in March, when I seen what they had to offer, it just made all the sense in the world. Now, I want you to understand this was prior to a pandemic, okay? Prior to a pandemic. But when I saw it, I saw so many people who were still struggling financially. And when I seen that, like, that, like people overpaying in taxes, bad credit, buried under debt, people pay bills, don't have two nickels to rub together for their retirement. And when I seen this opportunity, and this is a, a full financial solutions company that provides the strategies and the experts to help people overcome those challenges, right? And I was like, that makes a lot of sense because there's so many people that fall in these categories right now. And then I got invested. And then what ended up happening was things, I started getting that word out to people. I use the services myself. I started sharing my testimony, mm -hmm. getting people excited, right? Getting people excited. And then all of a sudden it started to blow up and then boom, this pandemic hit. And then when this pandemic hit, it made my business that much more relevant. Why? Because you started seeing millions of people without jobs. You started seeing people like looking like for ways to generate an income because they didn't have any income. A lot of people were sitting around twiddling their thumbs, waiting for the government to bail them out of this situation. And they, they, they didn't come through like they were supposed to. End of the year, decided to just send you a one-time $600 payment. And I'm like, man, I'm like, this right here could literally change people's lives. But I didn't think about that almost a couple of years ago when I got started. I was looking like I seen the problem. But when this pandemic hit, it made it that much more evident that I had invested into something that is going to literally and it has already changed my life. But take me and my family life and everybody else that I come across this is going to take them to a whole new level. Because there are so many problems that are out there and we offer the solutions to help them. See, you got to think about these things, man, before you start throwing your money into these companies. You got to you got to evaluate the companies, guys. Think about Shark Tank. Think about Shark Tank. They got all the money in the world to invest in business and all of these different things, but they're not going to invest their money unless it makes sense. And usually what makes sense makes dollars. I love Shark Tank. I watch Shark Tank all the time, the reruns, the new ones, whatever, because I see when they evaluate companies, they're looking at the product, the service that's being provided. They're looking at the, the, the problems that are in the economy. How can we get this to the people that's going to be able to help them out? What kind of revenue can we generate when we invest our money, when we put marketing behind it? What kind of revenue can we generate by doing this, right? The Shark Tank the, the, the investors, that's what they're looking at. It, you should have that same mindset. When you get approached by an opportunity, man, look at that opportunity. Ask questions. What's the product? What's the service? What problems can we fix with this product, the service, or this opportunity? Look into it and then make a decision before you invest your money. Make sure that you're excited about that opportunity, that product, the service. Because that's what people feed off of. When somebody comes in, they don't want to hear about somebody else that made millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else that live in a mansion and flying around the world. They don't want to hear about that. You approach them prospects. They came across your page. They want to know how is it working for you? That's what they want to know. And if you can't confidently tell them and share excitement about what this has done for you and why you're excited to share this with other people, that doesn't build confidence in them. Because if you're not excited about your opportunity, if you're not passionate about your opportunity, how can you get mad when nobody else see your vision? 
How can you get upset? Because you don't even believe in your own opportunity. You just got started just so you can hopefully get some signups and make some money. But the picture is bigger than that. You really wasn't focused on helping people. You wasn't really focused on solving problems. You just want to get some signups, right? And that's not how you build in this industry. That's not how you build. To get what you want, you got to help others get what they want. It's a phrase called leverage income. Guys, you get a chance to come in here and you get a chance to help people, right? Build Working with individuals with like minds that have common goals in mind. And y'all work together, strength in numbers. If y'all learn these numbers and, and, and honestly get people to come together, guys, it's, it, it's not that hard. It's really not. I'm not saying it is easy, but it's not hard once you start to figure it out and be able to generate a long-term income. But I'm telling you guys, that leverage income, I heard a phrase that hit home for me. And it said, I would rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own. So when you can come into an industry and you can build a team, build an organization, right? You can build a team and build an organization and you get a chance to build that leverage income. Getting paid for other people's efforts. That's what your bosses do with your job. That's why they hire you. They leverage you to work their business so they can generate revenue. They leverage you. So when you come into the business, you guys leverage each other and you guys get paid. You get a piece of the pie from everybody that you bring in. It just makes things that much easier. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. So once again, like I said, if you're not excited about your opportunity and you're just here to make money, this is going to be a long year for you. It's going to be a long year for you. And I hate to be the bear of bad news. However, if you switch it up, go back to your opportunity. Go back to the basics like you just got started. Go through your information. Soak up that information and start to think about, all right, what? who is my ideal prospect? What problems are they dealing with? And how can I show this as a solution? When you start to think about those things, that's when things will start to change in your business. That's when things will start to change. So I hope that this information really helps you out. I broke down quite a bit, quite a bit of things in here. So go back and watch it on the replay. If you missed anything, take some notes. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to hit me in the inbox. Like I say, I still work a full-time job. I got a lot of things going on, but I will make sure to get back to you guys um, in a timely manner. But like I said, this is the year to educate people. People, that we don't have many options. If you lost your job, you don't have any income coming in, you don't have any money to start your own business, this is a place where you can come in and really build and generate that income that's going to help you build the income that's needed to open up other doors, and leverage that income to do other things. So don't let it pass you by. Stop overthinking. <laughs> stop Stop creating these scenarios in your mind and all of these different things. Stop doing all of that. All you got to do is put your first foot forward and give it a shot. Because one thing you learn, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And that's the reason why people miss opportunities every single day. Okay, so that being said, guys, thank you so much. I got to get ready. I got an event I got to go speak at uh, this morning, but I just want to come share that knowledge with you guys. But uh, like I say, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Let's make 2021 the biggest year yet. Don't blink and let June come around in six months. You're still doing the same stuff. Let's start switching things up today. All right. Love you guys. God bless. And we'll talk to you soon.